Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fishing North Atlantic. Now we are back and this is the full throttle. I figured that uh, we might as well just go out and uh, you know get that one just to see what it's like. Uh, so I don't know how much it can uh, you know hold or not like that. We haven't gotten there yet. Uh, we still owe 33 million. So we <laughs> we have some uh, we have some room to uh, you know pay that off. But anyway, so I already bought it. Uh, we have. Oh, hello. what is that? Interesting. We have $10,111,942 in the bank. And uh, it's taken out a million per month. So uh, we're definitely going to have to watch out for that. I would go harpooning, but uh, it is definitely easier. Um, it? No, I don't want it to throw it. Uh, definitely easier to get the uh, deep line. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is let's go to upgrades, storage. We're definitely going to want all of it. 50,000 for that. Definitely want the big one. Only 115 for that. Uh, radar is definitely a must. Autopilot. Yeah, why not? Let's get our autopilot. It's only 3,000. You know, no big deal for that. 12,000 for the sonar. Uh, buoy. Might as well. I mean, it's not necessarily worth it or anything, but uh, we might as well. And then 10000 for that. 206000 So we spent, you know, 1.1 1. Uh, 1 mil or something like that. Uh, because we're here, let's actually go into the bar and see if there's any tips for tuna. Uh, no, there's not. Okay. Well, we're just going to have to go out and uh, find it. Who's actually on the boat at the moment? Uh, just them three? Okay, cool. Won't be too bad. Oh, before we go out, it might be a good idea if we actually get some gear. Duh. Uh, so we ha can only have 12. And that is why I didn't uh, realize that. But anyway, we'll, we'll use it for this one anyway. Uh, so let's do six herring and then six squid. And, and of course, you know, I just wanted to try this boat out. It is actually quite a bit of money for what would you get. Uh, is he? Yep, he is. Okay. And then also, when I got on the, uh... Oh, wait, wait, wait. No. We'll just turn around. I was gonna see what kind of paint job we can get, but, uh... Looks like, you know, the trim in the hole. Oh. We'll just try that when we get back, if I remember. But this boat can go 23 miles an hour. I mean, this is definitely the, uh, the sport boat of the, of the ship. And like I said, you know, honestly... Ocean Runner is definitely the best boat. I mean, it's not as fast, but it's the best. Holy crap, we're going 40 miles an hour. Just hauling ass is what we're doing. Uh, but yeah, Ocean Runner is definitely the best one. Uh, but because... And we, we wanted to try something else. So let's see here. We can get rid of those because that was two and three months ago. Uh, we can't go in the shallow area. We could potentially go here. And then normally I go like right in here. So let's actually, that's the wind farm. Let's actually go down here if I can. Oh, I can, barely. And then uh, we'll go from there. See if there's any tuna or anything under the under the boat here. Oh, well, looks like there's a few tuna. Am I actually gonna hit them right off the bat? Tuna there, tuna, tuna. Okay, where's the swordfish at? If I start seeing some swordfish, I'll, I'll drop a few. There's some more tuna down there. Oh, there's a swordfish down there. Gotta prove it to me. So it's definitely not the best spot, but we are having some... Uh, good stuff. What's the weather like? So it's 13 miles an hour. They said that they updated the water. It doesn't look like it, to be brutally honest with you. I don't, I mean, honestly, the water was fine when they first started, and then uh, ever since they started updating it, it just honestly got worse. So that's kind of interesting, I would think. Let's just, and, and for all you guys that uh, wanted me to make a video about how I find tuna and swordfish or lobster or whatever honestly this is what i do i just I go a little bit further and then see what i find 
except I, I zoom all the way in. There's a, oh, that's a mackerel. Mackerel, pollock. Or is that a pollock? I don't know. But they're not here either. But yeah, this is how I find them. I find them basically just uh, scanning around the ocean. Uh, so they're definitely not in this general area. I mean, we could, you know, finish all the way out and see. As uh, there's nothing here. Good thing this boat's fast, let me tell you. But, I mean, I guess we could bring up the... There we go, now we can walk around and walk... Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, I mean... <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? So there's absolutely nothing here. Um, I think this is how you go up to the front deck, isn't it? Yeah, go up front. So, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot to it. You know, I mean, you just have... It's kind of like a sport boat. Here, let's see. Can we go up here? Go up. And now we're on top of the water. We're on top of everything. But yeah, there's absolutely nothing out this way. So... That's weird. So it definitely does matter on where... I mean, there's more stuff over here. But what we can do is we can go all the way out. Hopefully we have enough fuel. Uh, I don't know how fast this ship or boat, depending on what you want to look at it. Uh, I don't know how fast or even how big the uh, the fuel is. Oh yeah, we got tons of fuel. Tons of fuel. Oh, looky there. Got some slow waves or swells. That's cool. So maybe they did add it, you know. But I don't like the water. You know, like it just looks like they're it's mossy and just gross. But yeah, I mean they they added some swells to it. It looks like it. So that's really good. I mean. I wish we could get water that splashes over the the bow and stuff like that. I think that would be pretty cool as well. But we're just trying to find some tuna here. We could go back and, you know, do where we were. But uh, hopefully we can find something out here. But I'm not going to let you uh, sit here and worry about it. So that's probably what we'll do unless something pops up here soon. Actually, let's just go back. Uh, where was it? Like right in here-ish? Let's actually go down here, and then we'll just set the line if we see tuna. Doesn't really matter. We need to make some money. Just because we've got nine mil in the bank doesn't mean that we uh, we have a lot of money. So let's see here. Let's actually get uh, what's her name, Sadie. Let's get her rounded up. And let's see. Not seeing any tuna quite yet. We see a crab down there, so that's good. Let's see, not seeing nothing. Still waiting. But anyway, uh, just want to say to everybody, of course, I'll look at there. One, two, three. L screw it. Let's, let's set one. Oh, hello, that was clear. And as soon as we get 100, 100 meters or yards or whatever it is, we'll just set the next one. We'll just set it here. You know, like I said, it's not going to be the best in the world, but uh, we'll set probably about six, and then we'll go up the go up the road a little bit and set six more. But as I am recording this, it is 11:41, March 5th of 2021. So happy Friday to everybody. Even though you're probably going to be watching this on a uh, on a Monday, but happy Friday. Uh, it is actually my day off today. And so, uh, hope you guys had a fantastic week. Hopefully, you guys have a fantastic weekend. Now, I do have a, a little bit of a topic that I want to talk about. Um, as everybody knows, a few weeks ago, well, actually, it's probably been about a few months ago, uh, the COVID shot come out. Um, and, and I asked you guys his opinion on, on if you, would you get it if it was you know, available for, to, for you to get it. And some of you said yeah, some of you said no. And, uh, so I want to see, now that uh, it's been out for a while, and so on and so forth, would you get it now or not? Now, me, I had to get it, uh, because where I work at, they're like, oh, you have to get it anyway. So, uh, I, I already got it, and actually today was my second dose with, uh, Pfizer, 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 whatever, the P1, you know, so uh, I actually did get my second one. I didn't want it, 
but uh, like I said, I was pretty much forced to eat it. Um, so, because of that, you know, beggars can't be choosers, I, I guess. So, uh, I got it. Uh, my first shot, if you guys are a little bit weary about it, uh, my first shot, I, my, I got it in my left arm, because I'm right-handed. And so, uh, my left arm was absolutely dead. You know, it, it was fine at first, and then all of a sudden it just died. Um, I got home from work that night after the shot, and, like, it, it just felt like someone was, you know, hanging on to it and, and couldn't move it. It was uh, pretty bad, not going to lie. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't too terrible. Uh, just a little bit of a pain, you know. It was just, like, not painful. It was just a pain that you couldn't do anything with it. Uh, we got about six more hours. Eh, let's do seven. Why not? And they all should be blue. Perfect. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't terrible. It just uh, wasn't that great. Um, so uh, that was my first shot. Now, my second shot, like I said, I just got it at, uh, what, 10 o'clock. And, like I said, it's 11.43, so I just got it. And uh, right now, I mean, everything feels okay. Um, but when I got my first shot, uh, a little bit, you know, a little few things to be a little concerned about. Um, like, I mean, of course, everybody's going to have it differently. But what happened with me is that uh, I lost my appetite, didn't have any appetite really to, to do anything with. Um, and then, you know, I got yelled at a lot by my gal because I wasn't eating. Uh, so that was a... Uh, a little bit of a problem and then other than that I mean everything was okay uh, some forgetfulness confusion uh, you know happened to me uh, so hopefully uh, this second shots okay I was told that the uh, the second shot is worse <laughs> so uh, I'll definitely keep you guys informed as the time goes on but uh, I mean other than that that that's about it so so if you guys do want to get it, I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, like I said, I wasn't going to get it just because I didn't feel like I needed it. I mean, like I, I, I was a truck driver and I was in L.A. all the time. And but uh, because everyone, well, because I work at now, told me to get it. So I basically had to. And that was the only reason. So other than that, I mean, uh, it wasn't terrible. But uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys want to get it or had to get it and uh, you know what happened to you like did you get a sore arm or, or stuff like that let me know in the comments below you know let's uh, open up a little bit of a conversation I guess you could say and uh, you know go from there but anyway with that on the, the fantastic which I barely went and I'm just flying through it's crazy I don't necessarily know if I like this ship or boat just because, I mean, there's only 12 lines. I mean, we're not, we're, we may get, what, 10,000 pounds, maybe? But that's about it. So, I mean, 10,000 pounds ain't going to do nothing. So, uh, Ocean Runner is definitely the best boat. I mean, I think you pay a million for it. But definitely better than this. But uh, I know a, a few of you guys wanted to see some deep lining and uh, you know it's been a while since I've done it so I was like okay yeah let's do it right quick and then uh, one of you guys want to watch uh, some long line I haven't done some long line in a long time uh, so I mean that'll probably be the next episode just to uh, you know get out and do something different uh, we haven't done like I said we haven't done long line in I mean this is the 63rd episode and I think the last one is like episode 30 I mean, so almost a month ago. <laughs> so, uh, well, we'll we'll go back out on uh, long line. I mean, basically, you can literally set them almost anywhere. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily set them here, but I mean, you you could if you wanted to. Let's get the crew back up. I mean, we're getting about two to three um, fish a line, so that's not bad either. Uh, hopefully, the uh, fish prices are up. But, you know, like I said, who knows. But if you guys do want to see anything about this game, like if you want to see more crabbing uh, or uh, even lobster or whatever, let me know in the comments below. I mean, the only way I know uh, what you guys want to see is through the comments. So if you guys want to see that or net fishing or, uh, you know, 
anything else let me know in the comments below and of course every time this game update updates uh, I'll definitely try to get it out the water isn't terrible I mean it's not as rough as I'd like it especially at 13 miles an hour I mean I know here in Oregon uh, if you go to the ocean and it's 13 miles an hour that that ocean's rougher than hell so uh, you know I really wish they would fix that but I mean I guess they're doing all their all they can I wish they would just put it back to what how it was before to be royally honest with you I mean but uh, it is in August so maybe that has something to do with it I haven't really fished in the winter time in this game yet. Um, maybe we have to do that, but anyway. We will see. We will definitely see. But we've got six more lines to go. It definitely is not going to take a whole lot long to uh, get all 12 lines, especially going 30 miles an hour. So ho hopefully uh, we can... Whoa! Hey, pick that up at 22 miles an hour. Come on. <laughs> Gee whiz. Also, I do appreciate you guys uh, liking the ATS videos. Uh, you know, I, I, I understand it's a little bit slow at times and stuff like that, but uh, it, it brings it back, you know, nostalgia and stuff like that to me uh, because, you know, I was a truck driver and everything else. And uh, so I do appreciate you guys uh, watching that, watching those videos and stuff like that. And uh, Gold Rush, you know, uh, I, I haven't played Gold Rush in a long time, as you guys can tell. Uh, it's been a bit, little bit rusty, but uh, you guys are watching that pretty good. And uh, so I just want to thank you all for the support, of course, as always. And, uh, oh, that one's a big one. I mean, it looks like the same like all of them, but uh, maybe it's just the boat because it's smaller. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, of course, thank you all for the support. We are up to as of, on here, let's actually check right now. As of right now, we are at 150 subscribers absolutely fantastic uh you know thank you for that and uh thank you for all the guys and gals that have uh, subscribed in the last month or two um i normally try to say that at least you know once a week but uh sometimes i forget so uh thank you guys for um subscribing and stuff like that supporting the channel it does truly mean a lot it really does you know like i tell everybody i'm just some weirdo you know sitting sitting in the bedroom uh, playing the game you know and I just decided hell let's do it and see what happens and uh, you know you guys wanted to come out and uh, you know I guess play the game along with me and, and uh, stuff like that and it's absolutely fantastic um, so like like I said if you guys want to woohoo that one's moving fast isn't it so if you guys want to see anything you you know don't hesitate to just tell me uh, if you guys want to see anything new or whatever and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, like always, you know, I can't thank you enough. I know on some some YouTubers, I always like, oh well, this guy thanks thanks everybody so much and da 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 da. But it does it does truly mean a lot. You know, every time you try to say anything, it it doesn't necessarily. It just feels like you're repeating yourself over and over again, and uh, you know, it, it's hard to make it feel genuine. I guess when you say it all the time, but. I do very much appreciate it. It has been an absolute blast uh, since we started. Uh, I used to do one video a week, or no, yeah, one video a week actually back uh, in no, no, January of last year, and uh, that's because I was on the road trying to uh, trying to make money and then do YouTube at the same time. And a lot of you guys came by, but when I came back in November. I, uh, when I first started posting this game, we went from 22 subscribers to where we are at now at 150. And so, uh, you know, I gained 100 and what, 28 subscribers in how long is that? November, December, January, February, March. So four months, which is just mind-boggling. It really is. I, I talk to my gal all the time, and it's and you know she's she's excited about it and stuff like that it's just mind-boggling it really is uh so again thank you very much i do have some plans as soon as we hit uh, some bigger milestones and stuff like that I do have some plans but uh time time is definitely a hard one to uh get everything done with let me tell you what okay so now that we picked up all these lines let's actually see uh fish prices Let's turn all this off so I can see what we're dealing with. $18 a pound at Digby. Let's go to Yarmouth. Oh, that's already already better. Uh, 
that one's not as good. Not as good. Not as good either. Okay, so we're going to Yarmouth at twenty dollars and six. Oh wow, tuna went down a lot, but tuna was pretty good. So we're going to Yarmouth, Yarmouth, or you know, whatever. I'm not from Canada, so I don't know. But anyway, we're just three hours to get back. That would take like ten everywhere else. But uh, yeah, we'll sell this up, and then uh, that'll probably be it because it, I mean. It wasn't the greatest, but let me know what you guys think of Full Throttle. Uh, it, the ship, uh, the ship, boat, whatever. It was $975,000, and you only made $272,000. Wasn't great, but of course it wasn't uh, wasn't all of it either, and then 17000 there. So, I mean, hey, wasn't terrible. We made back up to $10 million, but here, let's see what kind of ships are here. Uh, backstabber. No, we had that one at the very beginning. But yeah, we have uh, we have quite a few ships to our. Uh, oh, wrong one. <laughs> we have quite a few ships to our our name here. We got full throttle, double trouble. We might actually take that one back. Uh, actually, here, let's activate it right quick. Uh, so if you guys haven't noticed, uh, we did. I did paint it. So it's black and purple, just because I thought it it looked nice. And uh, this this boat is definitely much better than full throttle. But, uh, oh well. So, uh, we'll probably take this out in the next one. Let's see. Can this boat actually do? Before we go. Yeah, so we can do a uh, long line right here. And it's actually already owned. So that's what we may do um, in the next episode. Or if you guys want to see more deep line, let me know. But uh, anyway, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys for all the support, like I said, again. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.